Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the Daily Bible Reading. And I'd like to greet you, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And hope and pray that uh, he's your Lord and Savior today. And if not, well, today is that day of salvation. As the Bible says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Amen. So uh, call on Jesus today, and he'll save you. Amen. All right, so we're going to continue through the book of Isaiah. We started in chapters 1 through 3 yesterday, and we'll be covering chapters 4 through 7 today, three chapters. So if you have your King James authorized version handy, you can turn along with me to chapter 4. And verse 1 says, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own our apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our approach. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Amen. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Ho, oh. <clears throat> Verse 5, And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense, and there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime for the heat, and for a place of refuge, and for a covert from the storm and from rain. Chapter 5 Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it, and gathered out the stones thereof, and planted it with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a winepress therein. Uh, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that I, it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes? And now, go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be broken down, or, excuse me, and it shall be trodden down. <clears throat> and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns, I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold oppression for, his, for righteousness, but behold a cry. Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. Oh, yeah, a lot of that going around today. Uh, house to house, uh, field to field, houses right close next to each other where there's no space. Mm. All right, verse 9. In mine ears saith the Lord of hosts, of a truth many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair, without inhabitant. Yea, ten acres of vineyard shall Yield one bath, and the seed of an omer shall yield an ephah. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, 
that they may follow strong drink that continue until night, till wine inflame them, and the harp and the vial, the tabret and pipe and wine are in their feasts, but they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Therefore my people are gone into captivity, because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore hell hath no, uh, therefore hell hath enlarged its, uh, herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. See right there? Uh, hell hath enlarged itself, so God does not know who all is going to hellfire and who all has been saved. It says so right there. If hellfire was to be enlarged, then God knew exactly how many were going to be dropped into hell and how many were going to be saved, then there would be no reason for him to have to uh, enlarge hell so more people would be dropping in it. So there you go. Calvinism is a lie. And don't believe it. Amen. Because... God wants all to be saved and not any to to perish. Amen. So if you don't want to trust Jesus, well, that's on you. Amen. So uh, you're going to look into that. <laughs> so hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp. And he that rejoiceth shall descend into it and the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled, and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. Then shall the lambs feed after their manner, and the waste places of the fat ones shall strangers eat. Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity, and sin, as it were, with a cart rope, that say, Let him make speed, and hasten his work, that we may see it, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come, that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Yeah, lots of that going around today. Calling things good, uh, evil that are good, and good things uh, evil. Hmm. Uh, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strong, uh, excuse me, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous for, from him. Therefore, as the fire devour, devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blo uh, blossom shall go up as dust, because the, they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, in the anger of the Lord... Uh, excuse me, therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them, and has smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For at all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from afar, from far, and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come and speed swiftly. None shall be weary nor stumble among them. None shall slumber nor sleep. Neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor the latchet of their shoes be broken, whose arrows are sharp, and all their bows bent. Uh, their horses' hooves shall be counted like flint, and their wheels like a whirlwind, their roaring shall be like a lion, they shall roar like young lions, yea, they shall roar, and lay hold of the prey, and shall carry it away safe, and none shall devout or deliver it. And in that day 
they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one look unto the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened in the heavens thereof. <clears throat> All right, so chapter, uh, let me see here, chapter 6. All right, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the, uh, the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Who shall I send, and who will go for, me, for, for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see uh, with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Lo, uh, excuse me, then said I, Lo, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And the Lord had removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. But yet in it shall be the t uh, tenth, and it shall return, and shall be eaten as a teal tree, and as an oak whose substance is in them, when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Amen. Chapter 7. And it came to pass in the days of uh, ah ah Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, that risen the king of Syria in Pekah, Pekah the son of Remaliah, the king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim, and his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz. Uh, thou and Sh Shirhar Jashub, this, thy son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field, and say unto him, Take heed and be quiet. <laughs> yeah, fear not, neither be faint hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Risen with Syria and of the son of Rimel. Remaliah, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabiel. Thus saith the Lord God, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass, for the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is risen, uh, and within threescore and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it sh 
that it be not a people, and the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Remaliah, uh, Remaliah's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye will not be established. Moreover, the Lord spake again unto uh, Ahaz, Ahaz, saying, Ask uh, thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Hmm. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For be before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. The Lord shall bring upon thee, and upon thy people, and upon thy father's house, days that have not come from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Assyria. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. And they shall come, and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys, and in the holes of the rocks, and upon all th thorns, and upon all bushes. In the na excuse me, in the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor uh, that is hired, namely, by them beyond the river, by the king of Assyria, the head and the heir of the feet, and the hair of the feet. And it shall also consume the beard, and it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall nourish a young cow and two sheep, and it shall come to pass for the abundance of milk that they shall give, he shall eat butter, for butter and honey shall every one eat that is left in the land. And it shall come to pass in that day that every place shall be where there were a thousand vines and a thousand silverlings, it shall even be for uh, briars and thorns. With arrows and with bows shall men come thither, because all the land shall become briars and thorns. And on all hills that shall be digged with the uh, mattock, uh, there shall not come thither the fear of briars and thorns. But it shall be for the sending forth of oxen, and for the treading of lesser cattle. Mm. And that is the end of our Bible reading for today. And so, Lord willing, tomorrow we will continue with chapter 8. And we will read chapters 8 through 11 tomorrow. So, hope you'll come back for that. Amen. And so, I will wrap it up for today. So, thank you Again, for watching these videos, and if you know somebody that doesn't have Facebook and would like to watch these videos, I upload them to my YouTube page, and you can type in my name, or you can type in Ambassador for, Bright, uh, for Christ Broadcasting, and uh, look it up that way. Amen. So, praise the Lord that uh, able to do these Bible readings and devotionals each and every day, and hope they're helping a blessing to you, and like to encourage you to Get into your own Bible reading and studying and keep reading the Bible on your own time and uh, praying to the Lord that he would show you what he would want you to see. Amen. And remember that if you're not saved, well, today is the day of salvation. The Bible says that you must be born again. Amen. And that's uh, by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. All right. Well, till tomorrow, um, may the Lord richly bless you and have a great and wonderful rest of your afternoon and evening. All right. Bye-bye for now. Thanks again for watching.